Hey folks, welcome to Spooky Appalachia. This one came from a fan uh, from uh, Northeast Georgia. And uh, it was a story that was passed down to them. I'll go ahead and get into it. Definitely. Hello, my name is Anna, and I absolutely love y'all's channels. I know you both like to do some scary stories, and I wanted to send this one to you. It was told to me by my grandfather who lived in Northeast Georgia. Back in the olden days in the mountains, there was a cabin and a man that lived there. His entire family had died of a fever. When he grew old, he basically became a hermit, rarely leaving his home. As time went on, Rumor went around that he was a really wealthy man and had gold and silver under his house. After an evening of drinking, some men were discussing it and decided that they were going to go pay him a visit and take it. As you might have guessed it, the old man didn't have much. He had nothing to give him. Angered by this, one of the men took an axe and ended the poor old man's life. After this, the man's home was empty for many, many years. Finally, a wealthy oil tycoon purchased the house and property without even seeing it first. He wanted to use it for hunting trips for he and his hunting bunnies. He decided to go stay the night and check out the lay of the land. The second he saw the place, he felt extremely uncomfortable. The first night, he went to sleep and nestled in. He was awoken by the ghost of the old man who leaned in over his bed and began screaming in his ear. The ghost was covered with wounds from the axe and just stared at him. And then the ghost leaned even closer and began screaming again before vanishing. The oil man screamed so loud from this encounter that it damaged his vocal cords. And as soon as he got his bearings, he left the property and never returned again. He later sold that property about as quickly as he could. And I don't blame him a bit. <laughs> oh, me neither. Me neither. Good, Good gosh. Night. Yeah. Could you imagine oh, that encounter? Golly, man, that's just, oh man, that sounds like something that you just, you know, hear out of a, see on a horror movie. Yeah, it does. It does. Ooh. Oh, man. Man, I remember I got excited when we got this one. Yeah. I was Man. like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> That's one of those rare ones, you know, you get that just, just, just wow. Yeah. Well, I hope they burnt that place to the ground, man. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe said a prayer over it and maybe put out some uh, holy water or something yeah. somewhere. And I hope they didn't roast any hot dogs on that fire either. Yeah. On a hot dog or marshmallows. Yeah, ain't nobody wants that. No. Haunt your intestines for all eternity. Yeah. You have haunted ghost farts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I hope that lightened the mood for everybody. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. That, that's now, one thing that people say they like the most is that we, we'll tell something creepy and then... You know, we give them some laughs and bring them back to reality. Yeah, yeah. You I, know, it kind of gets you that spooky factor, you know, and stuff and everything. And then kind of leaves you off with a laugh so it don't yeah. play on your mind a while. So. Yeah, yeah. We do it for ourselves, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, Jimmy's, that was a... Jimmy's, yeah, but you got a dog there that'll protect you. My cat... I've was, got two right now, remember? Just watch me get just... Attacked by a ghost. Oh, that's fine with me. That may even help. Yeah. Not me. 
<laughs> not that cap won't that cap isn't gonna help you unless you uh, that ghost's made of extension cords or something. Yes, or bacon. Yeah, <laughs> I always get a pass for bacon. Yep. Maybe the ghost would leave me alone if I offered it bacon. Yeah, maybe. Oh man, <laughs> so creepy. Well, yeah. thank you so much for sending that story in, and. Yes. Uh, Remember, if you've got a story, you can send it in to us to be featured on here. You can email us the story at SpookyAppalachia at gmail.com. Or you can mail it to Spooky Appalachia at P.O. Box 569, Radford, Virginia, 24143. And we appreciate all y'all coming in and watching, liking, Definitely. commenting. Sharing it out, all that, you know, you know, it. those comments we get just makes our day. It definitely does. We absolutely I like love to, it. Yeah, I like to read through them every morning when I wake up while I'm drinking my coffee. Man, yeah. it's so awesome. Definitely is. This is why we do it. Well, part of the reason, you know, it's just fun, really. Yeah, we really love it. We enjoy mm -hmm. it and everything, but that definitely just adds to it. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. Well, again, we appreciate y'all. And remember, stay, stay spooky, spooky, everyone. Yeah, stay spooky.